confused. Socialism hasn't gone anywhere. It has been betrayed, yes. But betrayal doesn't mean collapse. Perhaps they get confused because at least Judas had the dignity after betraying Christianity to hang himself. <laughs> Gorbachev is still running around the world picking up pieces of silver. <laughs> must be clear here and not confused. I'm a socialist. One other thing I must tell you now. They confuse people about socialism. Brother the other day said, I ain't no socialist. I said, why not, brother? He said, because it's a white thing. I said, oh, really? You see, Europe tries to make believe that everything that comes out of the world comes out of Europe. I told the man, I said, socialism ain't no white thing. He said, yes, it is. He said, Karl Marx discovered it. I told him, Karl Marx never discovered socialism. He cannot. You call the laws of gravity Newton's laws. I'm sure there's a mnemonic device to help you on your quizzes. <laughs> but you certainly cannot believe that. Isaac Newton can found that a body falls at the rate of 32 feet per second squared per second squared. He can't find this. He can't discover it. He cannot invent this. He can only observe it and record it, discover the law. If I'm sitting in Timbuktu in Africa, and I've never heard of Sir Isaac Newton, and I'm conducting any experiments with gravity, I will come to the same conclusion that he does. A body in motion tends to stay in motion unless stopped by an outside force. He cannot invent this. He can only observe it and record it. Karl Marx did not invent socialism. If I'm sitting in Libya, in the desert, and I'm doing any research with capital and labor without ever having heard of Karl Marx, I will come to the same conclusion that he did, that any time capital seeks to dominate labor, there will be a ruthless, uncompromising struggle on the part of labor until it comes to crush capital and dominate it. This is a fact. My history demonstrates that. We came here as chattel slaves for centuries. We fought and fought and fought until we crushed it. Now we're just slave of the wage, and now we've got to rise up and crush that one. Thus it is clear that Karl Marx didn't invent socialism. It's there for all to see. Karl Marx's great contribution to the world was in the area of historical materialism and dialectical materialism, something you need to know if you know about socialism. But since you don't know about socialism, you don't even know the words. And not only does the enemy keep you ignorant, you stay ignorant. You won't ever go read a book about socialism. Why read a book about socialism? They already told me in my class it ain't no good. You will not even read a book about socialism. Why, you don't even read a book about your history. We come to inspire you to learn. We come to tell you that when you come to serve a people, you must know as much as you can. The more you know, the better able you are to serve the people.